My research has to do with what information gets leaked from first party sites to third party advertising sites. So sites that you and I visit, such as ESPN or CNN, which we call first party sites, they contain a number of other content providers which we call third parties, typically advertisers that are providing uh, ads that you see that you're not even aware are coming from a different server than the site that you're visiting. In 2009, we discovered that social networking sites are also leaking to third-party advertisers. When you create an account on a site and log into it, associated with your account is a unique identifier. A third party is in a position having access to that identifier to get at any information on the social networking site that is public to all users. So are they simply using that information to serve ads? Or are they long-term using this information, potentially you know, passing it on to others outside of my control? So our research was of interest to the Federal Trade Commission who was doing a, a series of privacy roundtables. And as part of that, I was invited to participate on a panel. So we wrote about this uh, and was published in a, in a conference in Spain. And not long afterwards, the Wall Street Journal picked that up and it was written about in the Wall Street Journal. So since the Wall Street Journal article, websites have updated their privacy policy. Websites have changed some of their behavior. The future of this research is to help users better understand what information about them is being leaked and to give them better tools so they can match what they're willing to share with what actually is shared.